good result on Saturday against Doncaster. Um, are you hoping that that could be a turning point in the season where you can build on that result? Well, I, I certainly felt that you know the lads bounced back from a disappointing couple of games, so we showed our character in that game. You know, it was a wonderful performance from us and a good result and a, and a, and a result that you know was very pleasing to watch. So. I certainly think we can build on it. You know, it's a different type of match against Wigan. You know, it's a it's a it's a local derby. You know, it's a new manager. So we've got to make sure that we can be adaptable to whatever's thrown at us. But I certainly think we've got the capabilities of winning the match. It is a local derby, and you're both lying in the same place in the table, level on po level on points. So does that add an extra spice to the game? No, I think in this division, you know, you can play the top or the bottom. You know, it's it's a it's a very strange division when in terms of. You know, anybody can beat anybody in their day. I just feel that if we can add some consistency to our game, then that can shoot us up the table. I don't think the performances uh, have been too far off what I expect uh, in certain games. But as I say, the consistency levels, you know, got to get better. You know, I think we, when opportunities come along, you got to take them, and that's what's letting us down right now. So we are fully prepared for the game. You know, it's another three points. It's a local derby. We're taking four thousand fans across with us. You know, it'll be a good day for us. We just need to make sure that we're fully committed to the task in front of us. Wigan were in European action last night as well, so they've had a lot of games recently. Do you think that will take the toll? Physically, it won't take the toll because they'll change the side. You know, they'll come. They'll come with us with seven or eight new new players in the pitch. You know, that's that's a no no brainer in terms of that selection. Uh, the disappointment obviously is disappointing from a point of view, but they can now focus in the, in the league. So, and anything it's going to be an advantage to them. I think you know we need to make sure again. Once I say we need to make sure we're prepared. We understand the challenge, and we 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 accept it. They could come up with different formations, and we can be ad adaptable with that. But if we can get that right, you know, the form we're in right now, the spirit we're carrying with us, uh, on and off the field, you know, as I say, it's a winnable game for us. Mark Davis and Josh Fowler, how tempting is it to, to get them? Involved? Very tempting, very tempting. Mark Davis is looking in great shape. Uh, the medical department will sign them off on Monday after the Chelsea game when he plays 90 minutes, but. You know, I have got the privilege of of, of pulling him into the squad. You know, because he's that close. You know, he's ninety five percent close. Uh, so he, he, that's where he's at. Josh Fella is a different case. Young Josh Fella, uh, he's been stripped back down. And by when I say that, I mean that he's he's been taken into the off the training ground for the last three months and and really worked hard on an individual program that enables him to train on a regular basis every day and hopefully fulfil this wonderful potential he's got. So, you know, there are two different cases there. But at the end of that, I have got the privilege of calling the two of them up come Sunday. Just finally, on the FA Youth Cup, you'll have one eye on that. Yeah, we'll have two eyes on it. I'm going to go tonight, Dan. I'm going to go and watch them. And I normally watch the game with two eyes, so I'll, I'll be watching them. Uh, listen, Jimmy Phillips and his, his team down there do a great job. It's been unfortunate over the last five or six years that being in the Premiership, it doesn't bring up the opportunity to give so many young players a chance. You know, and that's that's the difficult thing. It's they've got to get the right balance. But you know, I think the guys down there know under me, I will give opportunity to younger players if they're good enough. You know, it's not just a, a free house where they can get a game. If they show signs that they're good enough, and if they're, if they're getting coached in the right way all the way through the systems and they're good enough, they will get their opportunity. So, yes, I will be there tonight. I will be having a little look to see what the future has got for us, and, and hopefully, you know, we'll get the right result to go to the next round.